Uh, welcome everybody to the Best Wines Online Tasting Room. Uh, with me today, I have none other than uh, Chris Blandy, who, uh, funny thing is his last name is the exact same name on these bottles. Uh, you might have something to do with these. Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> Chris was nice enough to come in and showcase a brand new lineup of, uh, of single vintage uh, Colleta Madeiras, which are just about some of the coolest things on earth, as well as a wine we're going to focus on today uh, for this particular segment, the 20-year-old 20, 20 uh, Tess, which Chris says it a hell of a lot better than me. Tess. Terkentej. Terkentej. Yeah, you got to get that guttural R. <laughs> <laughs> now, talk to me a little bit about Terkentej as far as a grape variety, because it's a grape that we didn't see much of uh, until very recently. We've seen a few older bottlings, but it, it's been almost non-existent in our database here. Well, it's a varietal which, um, unfortunately, today is extremely rare to, uh, to find um, on the island itself. Um, just to give you an idea, for the 2012 um, harvest, we only managed to source just over 500 kilos of this varietal um, and the Turkentij more often than not is set aside into a special vintage aging uh, program and so of the wine that we harvested uh, last year we'll be waiting 20, at least 20 years maybe 25 30 years before bottling it as a vintage uh, as a vintage Madeira. So what have brought about uh, this 20 year old bottling? Well, in 2011, we, uh, the family celebrated uh, its bicentennial, mm -hmm. uh, so we've been on Madeira now for 202 years, uh, established in 1811. And we felt that um, even though we did a, a large tasting, uh, New York, um, San Francisco, London, and, and one in Madeira, we also wanted to put a, a product out there in the market that was celebrating this. And so we came up with the first uh, a 20 year old blend of Tukuntij, and it was the first time that my family's ever done that. Um, and initially it was a one-off bottling, uh, but I think the market reacted so well to it that we did manage to organize our stocks of Tukuntij and, and do a second bottling of this wine. So Fantastic. we're quite happy with it. Is it something that may be going forward still, or is it just after this it's going to be like, okay, Put the brakes on, we're almost out of Turkentesh. <laughs> well, you know, unfortunately that's, that's one of the problems that we have yeah. uh, with the Sferatil, there's just not enough of it. So yeah. we'll probably put the brakes on uh, and then keep the rest into bottles vintage Turkentesh. Got it, got it. And uh, stylistically, where does this grape fall into the hierarchy with Boal and Momsi and Bedello and things like that? Uh, it'll fit between Verdelu and Boal. Okay. Uh, so looking at the residual sugar, anything between 70 and 90 grams per litre. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. With obvious staying power. Yeah. Love this wine. It does have good length in it. It really does. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. So uh, we just rolled in uh, a few cases of the 20-year-old available at Best Wines Online and uh, get it before it's gone because, uh, as the man said, there ain't a whole lot of it. Now, uh, before I go, uh, you are going to plant some more of this grape variety? Is this a grape variety that was like almost extinct from what I'd heard? Or? That's true. Uh, it's almost extinct just due to the fact that two main reasons. Uh, first reason, it's very difficult to grow. Yep. Uh, Madeira suffers from high humidity, especially uh, in June, July. And uh, even though the vine is looking good, uh, developing well, uh, as soon as the, you know, the, uh, the berries start to set, it's, they just fall apart. It's, 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 and, and the berries actually do survive, have very, uh, very low yielding. Yep. Uh, so it's very susceptible to uh, humidity. And the second reason is that the majority of the area of the land where Tukuntij used to be historically planted, which was down by the coast on the south, uh, on the south of the island, has now, of course, been taken over by hotels for tourism. Uh, so one of our objectives is to look into a scientific project to try and see whether or not we can identify the best location in Madeira to plant it, but also to find the right uh, strain of varietal to plant, which is a bit more resistant to the humidity and would hopefully produce high yielding, uh, high yielding grapes. Higher yielding. <laughs> <laughs> which would be nice. Uh, room service, Tarantez, room service, Tarantez. <laughs> Tarantez for me wins, but that's me. So, um, Chris, thanks so much for spending some time with us today uh, talking about the, the uh, Tarantez. And um, hmm, there's still half a bottle left, so maybe uh, cut that so we can get <laughs>